Following the aftermath of the unprecedented leak of a draft opinion from the U.S. Supreme Court. Now, the court has confirmed the draft is authentic. Chief Justice uh, John Roberts has called for an investigation. Meanwhile, the issue of abortion is now front and center for many midterm elections. The 5-4 to four draft opinion was authored by Justice Samuel Alito, who wrote, Roe versus Wade, quote, must be overturned, and that the 1973 ruling was egregiously wrong from the start. The Chief Justice insists it was just a first draft and not a final opinion of the justices. 26 GOP-led states have or are poised to pass anti-abortion legislation. In Oklahoma, abortion is now banned as early as six weeks into pregnancy. The bill signed by Governor Kevin Stitt overnight, effective immediately. Since the leak earlier this week, there's been a lot of talk about what this opinion, if it holds, could mean for other rights the high court has previously recognized. KVU's Matt Fernandez spoke with a University of Texas law professor to break it all down. Just a couple days ago, the big news dropping, the leaked opinion suggesting the Supreme Court could reverse the landmark ruling on abortion. It's caused protests here in Austin and throughout the country. It was a 10 on the Richter scale. Richard Albert is a law professor at the University of Texas at Austin. He says if the decision is overturned, it could affect more than just abortion rights. This is the first domino to fall in the battle against privacy rights in the United States. You have to be worried about marriage equality, have to be worried about how you raise your kids, how you choose to live your life. The entire bundle of privacy rights is at risk. Albert says other things like the right to contraception could also be on the table. All of these privacy rights are at risk of being eviscerated because of this decision that tells us that there's no such thing basically as a privacy right. Albert does add, nothing is set in stone, and right now it's just a draft. They get changed, they get revised, they get adjusted, they get refined. And so it may be that we're in the process of that right now as the justices are exchanging ideas, exchanging notes, deliberating about what the final draft will look like. Albert says we just have to wait and see what the future holds moving forward. In Austin, Matt Fernandez, KVU News. Matt, thanks a lot. Now, Roe v. Wade was tried in a Dallas courtroom before it eventually made it to the Supreme Court. Norma McCurvey was pregnant and wanted an abortion, but couldn't get one in the state of Texas. In 1973, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled the Constitution protects a woman's right to choose to have an abortion without excessive government restriction. We have an in-depth timeline of this landmark case on our website. That's KVU.com.